Pine Valley Medical, sponsored by The Evening Show with Ben Ferguson. Watch it every day. Good morning, Pine Valley Medical. How are you, Mrs. Holstead? Oh, you never will bother. The doctor is right down the hall. I'll tell him you called. That woman, Miss Potter, is a hypochondriac. Uh, Miss Potter, I've been going over Miss Bradford's blood work and it seemed that I may have overlooked something. I think we should do some further investigating. I'd like to schedule her for an MRI. I don't think we have one for 48 hours, though. Yes, I suspected as much when I reviewed her lab work two days ago myself. I made an appointment then. <laughs> She's scheduled for today at noon. Miss Potter, may I see you in the faculty lounge? Nurses, would you give us a moment, please? Now, don't go getting yourself fired. Mm -hmm. Miss Potter, I don't know how they do things in England, but over here, the doctors do the diagnosing, the administrators administrate. If you ever talk to me in a condescending manner again in front of another employee, or in private for that matter, regardless of your uncle being the chief of staff at this hospital, you will be terminated immediately. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, I suppose. What are all these ghastly pictures doing on my wall? It's a fundraiser for the pediatric ward. The children painted them. $99 a picture. I'm afraid they might be here a while. Take them down. Have Miss Potter issue you a check, but take them down. Oh, how lovely for the children. Mm. Shall I wrap them, Doctor? Just get rid of them. Throw them out. Miss Potter, what is it? It's Mrs. Bradford. She's gone. Mrs. Bradford is gone. No, no, no. She's gone to the restroom, feeling much better now. Oh! <laughs> now that was a good one. <laughs> Did the doctor buy one of our paintings? Better than that. He bought them all. Said to throw them out. Said they were gas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we mustn't tell your daughter that. As long as she gets her 20%, she shouldn't mind at all. I have an idea. Let's take the paintings to the street fair this Sunday and we can sell them again. Yes! We can double the price and say that the proceeds benefit the burn unit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Dreaming of a wife. Miss Potter, you... Dr. Ferguson. I have a favor to ask of you. Dr. Riker, might I first cut in and say you're doing an exquisite job running this hospital? Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. But this yes. has to do with my sweet little niece, Miss Potter. Uh, she enjoys working with you very much, but I'm afraid she can't afford to continue working here on her current salary. Oh, Dr. Riker, I am so sorry to hear that. We will miss her. Oh. oh. No one's saying goodbye to anyone, no. Uh, I was thinking we should give her another $500 a month out of your budget. Dr. Riker, <laughs> she's only been here a week. Uh, I have people that have been here more than... Just consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Dr. Ferguson, you were saying... Miss Potter, you are... You are what? You're fired? Miss Potter, you are getting a raise. Oh, how splendid! And I didn't think you liked me. 